Manufacturers are digitalizing and transforming their businesses. Digitalization involves predictive maintenance using information collected by cameras and sensors on the factory floor and field layers using wirelessly controlled robots. Hello, my name is Yohei Shihara, and I'm a security evangelist at Trend Micro. Let's dive deep into cybersecurity management in digital manufacturing. Factories around the world are making progress in digitalization. A survey from Trend Micro showed that 87% of factories are implementing cloud services and 67% are implementing private 5G. To maintain and expand business while appropriately handling security risks in factory environment that is constantly changing, where do we start? The first step in cybersecurity is identification. NIST cybersecurity framework uses identification as its first step. This covers a wide range of topics, asset management, business environment, governance, risk assessment, risk management strategies, and supply chain risk management. Today, I talk about three key points to help with identification in all of these areas. First, work to identify the stakeholders in the system. The series of IC security standards known as IEC 62443 specifies four types of stakeholders, asset owner, maintenance operator, integrator, and supplier. When using the cloud or 5G network, the service provider plays three of these roles at the same time. The asset owner needs to view the system as a whole so they can understand who fills each role, where they do so, and how much responsibility they have. The asset owner also needs to identify which security requirements should be managed by a third party and which needs to be handled inside the organization. Second, look at the changes in the system configuration. With high bandwidth, super fast connections such as 5G, as the absent data processing move to the cloud and the edge, the physical boundary segments between layers will no longer work together. The shared responsibility model is generally defined for public cloud, helping to identify the segmentation of the system. It is essential to divide the system's assets and services into functional business components rather than layers like the network and cloud. It is also crucial to set the right security level for each functional component based on their importance and confidentiality. To do this, you need to identify the users and assets to access the required permissions, and the flow of data. Finally, consider attack scenarios. Security risks are present in production processes and the systems that support them. Trend Micro leverages its research to clarify various types of potential threats in ICS and OT systems. We have demonstrated that attack can affect factory processes by using vulnerabilities in 5G, the cloud, and other types of connections. Instead of viewing individual assets or services as potential targets, you need to identify risks using attack scenarios with a broad perspective and address these risks in the related systems. When implementing cloud, edge, and 5G in factories, manufacturers need to identify the changes it will bring and work to maintain compliance, update company policy, and build strong governance throughout the protection step done after the implementation. For more detailed information on the topics covered today, you can download our ebook from the link in description. At Trend Micro, we do cybersecurity. So, you can do you.